our dinner and the whole thing was a very friendly exchange of ideas. But uh, cri cryptocurrencies basically have no value and they don't produce anything. So you can look at your little ledger item for the next 20 years and it says you've got X of this cryptocurrency or that. It doesn't reproduce, it doesn't, it doesn't deliver, it, it can't mail you a check, it can't do anything. And what you hope is that somebody else comes along and pays you more money for it later on. But then that person's got the problem. But in terms of value, uh, you know, zero. <laughs> so it sounds like he did not change your position. No, but I didn't change his either. And I, I, I had a very pleasant dinner. And those people were, they behaved more than well. And they gave 4.6, or Justin gave 4.6 million to Goliath. And that will buy a lot of meals and provide a lot of beds for people in San Francisco. So I, I thank him. Uh, he gave you some Bitcoin. What's it feel like to be a Bitcoin? Uh, I, uh, uh, I don't have any Bitcoin. <laughs> you, you don't? No. Okay. No. You don't own Bitcoin. I, I will, no, I do not own one. I don't own any cryptocurrency. I never will. And, uh, you know, in, in the end, I, I may start a war in currency. You know, maybe I can create one, and I'll say there's only going to be 21 million of them, and you can have a little ledger sheet from me and everything that says you have it, and and you can have it after I die. And you, but you can't do anything with it except sell it to somebody else. So that was Warren Buffett explaining his beliefs on cryptocurrency. A little fishy in my opinion, but he, you have got to remember this man does have about 80 to 90 percent of his investments into banks and other things related to banks so he is very respected don't get me wrong a lot of people should respect his beliefs on it but again he did explain that he doesn't have any but it was a little fishy in my opinion i just want to say thank you for the mad and crazy support on my last video thank you so much guys i'm going to try and give something back to you in the next few months i'm going to try work hard and try get myself a giveaway ready for you guys uh, so if you want to see that stick around for that i'm going to show you right now i'm going to show you pomps anthony pomp uh his name's anthony i can't say his last name but i'm going to show you his reply quick here's re his reply to what warren buffett said very dismissive <laughs> yesterday he said uh, shorting suitcases i.e you know people laundering yep. money perhaps they're not going to use suitcases anymore they're going to use things like digital assets, Bitcoin specifically. So my two things with Warren, uh, first of all, somebody should tell him that Wells Fargo, one of the uh, companies in his portfolio, uh, recently was found uh, guilty uh, of helping the Sonoa cartel launder a lot of money. So uh, I don't know Fake necessarily- Fake accounts, I guess, would be the other way we'd have, I don't have yeah. necessarily proof on anything else, but obviously things like that with Wells Fargo have been a concern. <laughs> and the second thing is I don't really take technology advice from somebody who uses a flip phone or doesn't use email, right? Again, you shouldn't ask me for value investing advice. and so. He kind of has his domain, which he's the best what in the world. What you're saying at. is Warren Buffett doesn't get it, so stay out of it, basically. Uh, people will listen to his opinion because he's one of the best investors of all time. When it comes to technology, though, I think there's better people to listen to you're than Warren Buffett. You're saying he's behind the curve. Seriously behind the curve. <laughs> Talk to me about Sweden because yeah. they've launched a digital coin, or at least they're testing the testing phases. They are way more advanced, it seems, than than even uh, the Chinese who are clearly pumping a lot of money and investment time yeah. into this. So these central bank digital currencies are all coming and really what I think people need to understand is uh, all of the central bank digital currencies are simply taking the existing monetary policy and changing the technology form factor, right? Um, what Bitcoin does is it actually is a different monetary policy. It's not a fiat inflationary type model um, and so ultimately what we're going to have is a competition of currencies but it's not going to be a competition on technology. It won't be are they digital or are they not. Everything will be digital. Instead what we're going to have is a competition of monetary policy. That's, I think, where we believe that the Bitcoin monetary policy is superior to central bank uh, monetary policies, and ultimately Bitcoin will be the winner uh, and will be the next global reserve currency at some point in the future. So that is Anthony, Anthony's reply to Warren Buffett. Now, that's very interesting in my opinion. Uh, he, uh, Warren Buffett is obviously a very, very, very respected person in the industry, but again, as Pomp did say, if you don't understand it, which I think he does. Um, he is a very smart man, but he just doesn't want anything to do with it. Um, next piece of news, guys. I just want to show you the big, uh, the price of everything. Uh, the market, yes, it is down quite a bit at the minute, which is bad news in my opinion. But here's the thing. We keep reassuring ourselves that the market is supposed to have the appropriate fallbacks. We still have a halving in May, which will affect Bitcoin. But if, in my opinion, if Bitcoin goes up, the rest of the currencies, XRP, Ethereum, all the reliable uh, good coins, 
that do succeed will fly. I just want to show you some other news. Tron CEO Justin Sun says he holds large stacks of Ethereum and XRP, reveals bullish Bitcoin price predict prediction. So here's um, Justin Sun is bullish on Bitcoin and XRP uh, and Ethereum. In the new interview on CNN, the founder of Tron, billion dollar decentralized blockchain uh, platform, says he owns a di decisive crypto portfolio. Basically, I'm a crypto believer, so I converted like all my assets in 2013. These days, I only exchange the crypto to fiat. If I need to spend money in my daily life, I own lots of the XRP and the Ethereum too. I'm a long-term believer in crypto, so I want all the crypto assets to succeed. That's why I own lots of the other different cryptos as well. Now, this is massive bullish uh, news for uh, XRP holders and Ethereum holders, uh, in including myself. Um, this is big news in my opinion, uh, very bullish news because I've also seen that XRP is trying to join up with Ethereum uh, platform or something like that and if those two can get a good partnership going then uh, I think XRP and Ethereum could have a big big year considering I think uh, last bull run or uh, Ethereum was up a total of 20,000% and XRP was up a total of I think 5,000% so if we see any uh, similar figures to that, that would be uh, incredible. So that's very, very bullish news on XRP and Ethereum. But if we have a look at the market in general, as I said before, yes, it is slightly down at the minute. But do not panic because I strongly believe that the market is supposed to have its appropriate fallbacks. A.K.A. when Bitcoin has a 5 or 10% fallback, you will see uh, anywhere between 15 to 25% pullback from the rest of the stuff. Bear in mind we are a few months away from the halving so that could be an important factor as well as Warren Buffett saying he doesn't own any cryptocurrencies but guys in my opinion we shouldn't panic everything should be okay. And last up a lot of you would have probably have already seen this because this has been my best video and that's why I'm so so grateful for the support that I've had over the past week with this video but if you guys none of you have already seen already. The Simpsons have been talking about cryptocurrency. Now, if you haven't seen this video already, I highly recommend going on it uh, and checking it out. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but it is big, big news with The Simpsons promoting cryptocurrency. Uh, I just wanted to go over this again, just in case a lot of you haven't seen this. Um, this is a massive, massive video. I mean, the, the views and the, the subscribers I've earned from this, it's, it's amazing. I thank you so much. Um, I am going to work and hopefully... I'm going to be bringing you guys a giveaway before the halving. That is my goal. I want to give you guys a, a decent or a, a giveaway worth entering uh, before the halving. Uh, the halving, sorry. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys want to check out this video in The Simpsons, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I just want to thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Crypto Nobs. Peace.